Hello people, it's Kobe here and welcome back. So today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to build a small Japanese style tower slash castle. Um, and as you can see here, it is extremely survival friendly with a lot of chests, um, a nice elevator for your villager friends, um, and a lot of furnaces, and um, of course crafting table, ender chests, you know, essentials for survival, and you know, extra bed space and storage space up top. Um, so yeah, pretty cozy, but at the same time, really, really practical. So hope you guys, uh, enjoy this build, um, and I'll show you how to do it. Stay tuned. Okay, so taking a look at the materials now, we're going to need quite a bit of stone brick components, for example, stone bricks, uh, stone brick stairs and slabs and walls. You can interchange this with cobblestone. It's easier to get when this, uh, when you just start survival because you don't have a silk touch pickaxe, but... Um, yeah, I prefer stone bricks because they look a bit more uh, uniform, look a bit more nice. Uh, however, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the stone brick wall much more realistic and look much more nicer. Uh, so these um, might not be proportionate. Uh, we're also going to need some wooden components such as slabs, uh, fences, and logs. Now you can interchange this with other types of wood, but I prefer a darker tone kind of wood because... Um, you know, it, it fits the Japanese style architecture a bit better. Also, including the spruce door because it is a bit more medieval like. Um, we also have this white concrete for the walls and then some interior components such as scaffolding so that we can move up and down uh, to different floors. Um, a bit more aesthetic stuff, for example, a flower pot with the sapling and a jukebox. Uh, we're going to need some lighting such as uh, lanterns outside and inside. Uh, we're also going to need some interior um, basic amenities such as barrels, chests, um, armor stands, anvils, inner chests, crafting table, pretty much, um, you know, must-haves and survival and furnaces, uh, and of course two beds. So you can have an extra bed here, or you can even have three beds, but I'm going to add some aesthetic stuff as well. So yeah, take a look, uh, pause the video if you need to. Okay, so starting to build with the base, the stone base over there. Uh, so we are going to be starting with a 7x7 seven seven base. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Make a square. Make it come all the way around. And there we go. A, a, you know, a stone base. So we're going to be building it up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 blocks tall. And we're going to be basically, basically filling all this up. Um, like so. Uh -huh. Boring, 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 boring. So, <laughs> be right back at you. Okay, so now with the stone base done, as you can see here, uh, up top looks like this. Seven blocks in length, seven blocks in width. And now we're going to be adding some stone brick stairs on top. So we're going to be doing a ring around Rosie again. Basically filling all this stone brick uh, stair on top of the stone bricks and there we go that's basically the stone base so finally what we're going to do is uh, we're going to be adding a door from the back here so in the middle uh, with a block in uh, a block of space below it we're going to be putting a door uh, obviously for military reasons we don't want to put the door at the front um, and you know it's a castle or a tower so guard tower so we don't want enemies to as easily you know get in uh, so we're gonna be having a little bit of a struggle here but of course you can I don't know, add a stair here and make it easier to get in and out um, so yeah that depends on you but you know for aesthetic reasons we're gonna be keeping it like this so yeah, pretty basic stone base. Okay, so now let's continue with the tower main body. So we're going to be building the second floor. Uh, and we're going to be putting some wooden slabs on every corner. As you can see here. And then you'll figure out that, you know, there are, you know, there is a three block spacing between the slabs. And that's exactly what we want. So we're going to be building uh, spruce logs. Three blocks tall on every single wooden slab as you can see here and then next what we're going to do for the front and back uh, identified by the door um, we're going to be building a square kind of window with a hole in the middle all right so square wall 
like so, and with a hole in the middle. So for the sides, uh, we're going to be building, you know, two bars again, like so. And so we get a better view of our sides, so we can say hi to our neighbors. Uh, and then for the gaps, we're going to be putting some fences. Uh, we're not going to be putting glass because, you know, it's a bit more modern. Fences are a bit more uh, suitable for a build uh, of the medieval times. So yeah, uh, that's the second story done. Okay, so now we're going to be starting to build the roof of the house. So we're first going to be placing some stone brick blocks on each corner of the house, like so. And then we're going to be placing upside down stairs uh, beside each block on the uh, outside, like so. Okay, and then for the corners, we're going to be placing one single slab. Like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be pulling a slab inwards. Okay. Uh, and then we are going to be placing a stair behind each slab. Okay. And then in the middle, we're going to be placing some stone bricks again. And then outside of the stone bricks, we're going to be placing upside down stairs. So that's pretty much the outer skirt of the castle. Uh, and what we're going to do in the corners is we're going to place some stone brick walls. And we're going to be placing some lanterns on top so that we can prevent some mob spawning. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be placing a slab on top of uh, the sides, uh, the side roofs here, so the sides where uh, there is a long bar of windows. Okay, and we're basically going to fill uh, this entire part in uh, with some stone brick slabs for now. Okay, and we are going to be adding in some stairs, so two rows of it, like so. We're going to be placing a piece of white concrete in the middle. All right, and then we're going to be placing a row of slabs on top. Actually, no, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to place a single slab here. So over here, there's a little, little gap here that shows the white concrete. So over here, same thing. Uh, and then over here, we're going to be placing some stairs facing the front and back of the building, like so. And that's pretty much the roof. Okay, so now that we built the roof, now let's go for the interior. So in the inside, it looks something like this. Now, just now I told you to uh, cover the roof with a layer of stone bricks. Now we can demolish two rows of it, as you can see here. So we're going to leave um, the center row, and then we're going to be placing two lanterns here um, you know, just to lighten up the place. And we're also going to be placing three more lanterns over here. And, so, yeah. and then what we're going to do next is we're going to be placing uh, spruce slabs and covering the floor with spruce slabs. Um, bam, and then cover the floor with spruce slabs. Like so. And now the entire floor is covered. Very nice. Uh, we're going to be placing a crafting table in the corner here, an ender chest over here. And then uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to be placing a wall of furnaces like so and also an anvil in the middle just to make it look a bit more interesting um, all right so what we're going to do next is we're going to place five barrels like so and we're going to be placing a lot of chests uh, four stacks of chests like so on every side Oop. Okay, and then we got the other side as well.
Alright, and then we're gonna put an armor stand over here in this corner. Uh, maybe make it face this way, look, make it look a bit more interesting. Uh, and then the scaffolding. We're gonna be building it up to the second floor. Okay, so for the second floor, uh, as you can see here, uh, we got the slabs uh, under the logs. We're gonna be using this as the level. Oh, hello, over here. Um, we're gonna be placing our slabs for the second floor. So, uh, I'm pretty snug on top here. Okay, so what's next is we're gonna be placing our beds and our nice jukebox, uh, like so. So we're gonna be placing two beds over here, like so. Uh, and then we're gonna be placing a, oops, <laughs> we're gonna be placing a jukebox in the middle. We're gonna be placing some flower pot sapling, and then we're gonna be placing a row of barrels, like so. And that's pretty much uh, the second floor, pretty basic. You know, got some storage uh, right next to you. You can relax to music right before you sleep. And then you got your best buddy with you. Um, and um, your best buddy with you. And we got tons of storage space. You know, you can even access uh, the barrels behind it. So tons of storage space. Um, and you can live with this pro for probably quite a long time. Um, and you got a lot of uh, important amenities already. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the interior done. And yep, yeah, that. Okay, so at the start of the video, I also mentioned that we can make these kind of a bit more interesting, the stone layer, because right now it's just stone bricks and it, you know, it, it's it's pretty cool, but it, you know, it's it's a bit boring, don't you think? So you know what? Let's start, you know, make it, it more interesting. So we're going to be replacing some of these with. Uh, different types of stone to give it a bit more different texture. You know, it can just be some random pattern, you know, like T, upside down T, you know, play with, like, you know, some like Tetris or something. Uh, so, you know, some just, you know, two bars. And then, you know, inside of it, we can place, you know, maybe a cobblestone stair, like so. And then maybe over here, we can place, you know, polished andesite stair as well. You know, so that looks like, you know, there's some warfare marks over here. Um, and maybe we'll even make it a corner. Uh, you know, a bit more damaged here. It probably needs a bit more repair and attention. Um, and, you know, just add a little bit, not too much, but, um, you know, just make it look a bit more random. Uh, like so. So, yeah, right now, as you can see here, looks, looks much more interesting. Um, maybe this is too much, but, uh, yeah, just grab that. Um, so yeah, uh, look a bit more interesting than just now, and we're going to be doing it for all sides, so, uh, maybe something like this, um, and, um, like this, place, place a random block of andesite, uh, you know, a straight column of, uh, normal andesite, and then maybe some cobblestone here in the corner, um, some andesite stair that connects to here. No, I think it's too much. Yeah, so sometimes it might not be, you know, perfect, but, uh, you know, you can replace it and try different layouts. Um, for example, maybe here I would want, I want uh, stone, for example. So maybe I'll just dig up a little block of stone here that I can replace. Um, like so, and then maybe here I'll just put some stone bricks back, and then maybe over here it's a bit too boring, can add a bit of indentation, also here, a little bit of indentation, so don't be afraid to experiment, um, here maybe we can add a bit more stone, and then maybe here I want a bit more andesite, and then maybe I want an indentation here, um, here, and then on top, maybe I want some, you know, fortified looking kind of stone. So, polished andesite. And then for, you know, maybe down here, we're going to be placing uh, um, cobblestone. Goes around like this. 
Um, and um, I think this, this is this is fine, I guess. Add a block of polish on the side. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then maybe two blocks of polish on the side, like so. Um, and then some normal stone brick. I mean, just normal stone over here. Make it look a bit more like you know water trails, you know erosion. Um, you know some polish on the side. Uh, some cobble wobble. Uh, add some cobble wobble here as well. Maybe some cobble wobble down here. Um, and you know I think this is you know too plain. So let's add a bit more upside down stairs, like so. And now it looks much more interesting. So yeah, different types of stone textures, different layers makes the thing come alive a little bit more. I think over here we can add a bit more. Yeah. So yeah, don't be afraid to experiment. And you know, might have an interesting variation of your stone brick base. And this applies to pretty much a lot of Jap Japanese architecture out there because um, they're probably gonna have a large stone base and you can try it with, you know, experimenting with different stone types and make your uh, stone brick wall look like, um, you know, it's it's been through wars and looks much more interesting, a story to tell. So yeah, uh, enjoy experimenting. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this series so far and subscribe if you like to see more content like this. Um, so yeah, I've been building quite a bit of Japanese castles uh, in my survival, so I would like to share it with you guys this time. So maybe next time we'll build a little bit of a larger one. Um, but yeah, this time I want to show you a small one that, you know, is exactly as practical um, and can do as much stuff. So um, yeah, pretty cute little Japanese castle here. So hopefully you guys, you can build this in your survival. So thank you guys so, so much for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, dear viewer.